Path of Resilience is an exhibition of three works that's actually presented within the Promenade Fleuve Montaigne. And it starts um, in Old Montreal and it goes up through downtown and ends um, at the foot of the mountain. The Path of Resilience is an idea that came pretty naturally because the three artists who were selected to make works for this are women of um, Aboriginal heritage. Uh, the fact that they have vital, active practices these days is something to be celebrated. Maria Hupfield, I invited her to make a work for the area underneath the trees behind Square Victoria Metro. I created the sculpture that disrupts the space. Politically, there's a lot of intensity happening around. So the idea of just having something that was like kapow, like it speaks the language of action and contact and power and having strength. And I really wanted to have something that embodied that. And I also think as an indigenous person that I want to present images that are very much um, contemporary and feel fresh. And the sculpture is at sitting height, so it invites the public to sit. And that's her hope too, is that, that the sculptural piece will be a place for people to meet. Then when we go up the street at the base of the St. Patrick's Basilica, we encounter Nadia Mir's work. It's about a very famous Montreal story where Marie-Joseph Angélique was condemned for having set fire to her mistress's house and being responsible for having burned uh, much of historical old Montreal down. So it's a very haunting story, but it, it's a story that is part of Montreal past. It's interesting to be celebrating, you know, Montreal 375 this year and to be reminded of these painful stories. Attachée à la manière accoutumée, avec les brodequins serrés, la dite accusée a dit qu'elle n'a point connaissance de personne et que ce n'est point elle. And then as we head back up to the base of the mountain, the theme there was also future. And uh, the artist that I thought of immediately was Scawinati. And she, she already had it in her mind to make a celestial tree. The tree comes from a video, a, a story that I have made called She Falls for Ages, a sci-fi retelling of the Iroquois creation story. Yes, yeah, so it's a very graphic representation of the celestial tree. And for me, it was like, let's climb up the mountain, let's, let's look up to the heavens, and let's think about what the world could be. The path of resilience is a great idea, a great way of talking about it, because over all this time, Indigenous people have had to be resilient in order to get to the place we want to be. But I think it's important that some of us start to think about us thriving. Who do we want to be in the future? What can we, as Indigenous people, offer society? Can we imagine a little further in the future when we are on an even playing field and we all want to contribute to make this society, this reconciled society, better and or the best that it can be? These works offer something for everybody. There's nothing that's exclusive. Everyone's going to have their own reading, which is amazing. It's not about getting it. It's about being there and experiencing it. And it's for everybody.